our channel, where we bring you the latest news and insightful analysis on global affairs. In today's video, we will take you deep into the heart of the South China Sea, where tensions between the Philippines and China have reached a boiling point. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. The South China Sea, a region of strategic importance, has witnessed territorial disputes among several countries. Recently, an incident occurred that made headlines worldwide. The South China Sea is an area of immense economic and geopolitical significance. Several countries, including China and the Philippines, have competing territorial claims in the region. Tensions have been rising over the years, and the situation took a dramatic turn when the China Coast Guard reportedly harassed Filipino fishermen and patrol vessels in Philippine waters. The harassment incidents were met with outrage from the Philippines, which saw them as a blatant violation of their sovereignty and maritime rights. Diplomatic efforts failed to de-escalate the situation, prompting the Philippines to take decisive action to protect their interests. Faced with mounting provocations, the Philippines Navy responded with unprecedented resolve. Philippine warships were deployed to confront the Chinese Coast Guard vessels that continued to intrude into their waters. What followed was a tense standoff that captured the attention of the international community. In a daring move, the Philippines warships stood their ground, refusing to back down in the face of intimidation. The situation reached a tipping point when one of the Chinese Coast Guard vessels aggressively approached a Philippine warship. The Philippine warship took decisive action to defend itself and the sovereignty of the nation. In an astonishing turn of events, it opened fire, leading to the sinking of the Chinese Coast Guard vessel. The sinking of a China Coast Guard ship by the Philippines sent shockwaves around the world. While some leaders praised the Philippines' courage to defend its territory, others expressed deep concern over the escalating tensions and urged both sides to exercise restraint. The Philippine Navy on Wednesday announced that the missile frigate BRP Antonio Luna, one of its most advanced and capable ships, has been deployed to patrol the Philippine rise off the coast of Aurora. BRP Antonio Luna carried out maritime patrol to intensify naval presence in the Philippine Rise, the 13 million hectare undersea of Volcanic Ridge located east of Luzon. The ship's acting commanding officer, Commander Jim Aris Alagao, said in a statement, The region is part of the country's extended continental shelf, which is said to be abundant with natural resources such as minerals and gas. Alago said the patrol is part of the government's mandate to safeguard the country's national maritime interests in the northern frontier. The PN will always continue to be at the forefront in protecting the country's maritime domain and interests, he added. The crew of BRP Antonio Luna on April 1 raised a new Philippine flag atop the highest peak of Mavulus Island in Batanes, the country's northernmost island, and the first line of defense. The flag raising was part of the PN's Operation Bante Layag, which began on March 31 and will run for a month. The event was the second ceremony to be held on the island since the pandemic broke out in 2020. The first flag raising activity was held in April 2021. The hoisted flag also symbolizes and asserts Philippine sovereignty over the island. Among others, FF-151, also assisted the troops in Mavulus in troubleshooting the island's generator, as well as reprovisioned the troops with food and drinking water. Alago said, after Coast Guard vessels from the Philippines and China were involved in a near collision in early March in the disputed South China Sea, it took almost a month before the public was made aware of the incident. A similar delay occurred in making the activities of a Chinese surveillance ship public after it sailed through the Philippines' Sulu Sea in late January and early February. Such considerable reporting lags may indicate a shared desire by both Manila and Beijing to manage sea incidents discreetly, even as the Philippines has been vocal in recent years about Chinese activities in its waters while forging a closer bilateral relationship. Manila has filed 241 diplomatic protests against China since 2016, 
183 of which were filed last year alone. But the fact that these incidents were made public does hint at mounting discontent over their repeated occurrence. It also demonstrates how Manila is timing its announcements to garner domestic and international support and raise the stakes against Beijing. Take the March 2 incident, for example, when Philippine Coast Guard vessel BRP Malabrigo, conducting a routine patrol mission in the Scarborough Shoal, known locally as Bajo de Mesinloc, had its close encounter. A Chinese Coast Guard ship with bow number 3305 came within 21 yards, 19 meters, of the Philippine vessel, an unsafe maneuver in clear violation of the 1972 international regulations for preventing collisions at sea. The incident took place near a shoal that Manila considers part of its territory, lying 124 nautical miles off the country's main island of Luzon and within the country's western exclusive economic zone. But Beijing, since a tense standoff in 2012, has had a near-constant presence in the area, leading to occasional brushes with Filipino fishermen and presenting a perennial irritant to bilateral ties. The Philippine Coast Guard only got clearance from the Interagency National Task Force on the West Philippine Sea to publicly release what had transpired almost a month later, on March 27. The aftermath of the incident saw a surge in diplomatic engagements between China and the Philippines. Both sides sought to assert their positions while trying to prevent the situation from spiraling out of control. The incident also prompted other regional players and global powers to review their stances on the South China Sea issue. As tensions remain high, the potential consequences for regional stability and trade routes are being closely monitored. The sinking of a China Coast Guard ship by Philippines warships has undoubtedly marked a critical moment in the ongoing territorial disputes in the South China Sea. The world watches with bated breath to see how the situation unfolds and how it will impact regional dynamics. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analysis and breaking news on global events. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. The events depicted in this video are based on the prompt provided and do not necessarily reflect real-world occurrences. The purpose is to create a fictional video script for illustrative purposes only.